What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grove here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 30,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it. But in today's video, I'm gonna quickly go over some of the baits, some of the jig heads that I use when I'm heading out there ice fishing for big panfish. There's a couple different species you can go for, whether you're going for bluegill, purge, crappies. There's a bunch of different species you can go through, and I've been pretty lucky to catch a bunch of panfish living here in Michigan, growing up here in Michigan my whole life. Me and my dad and my twin brother have been fishing or ice fishing all our lives, so we have caught a lot of big fish over the years, and my favorite species to target in the ice when I'm going for pan fish is crappies. I love pulling up a big crappie, but I'm gonna be going over some of the lures that I use when I'm heading out there ice fishing. And this is actually one of my rods that I've been using for a couple of years now. It's a 26 inch pan fish rod. I love using this thing. I caught so many fish on it last year and it was a lot of fun, but typically, my favorite jigs to use are frostbite jigs. I've been using the frostbite jigs for a couple of years now. I've got a bunch of different frostbite jigs in there and also a wide variety of different ones that my dad has gotten over the years. So he definitely got a bunch of jig heads in there, but this one right here is probably my favorite color. I caught so many fish on it last year. It's a blue and pink with a little black and white in there and i don't know what it is about that blue but i think the pan fish really like um funky colors it seems like over the years i've caught a lot of fish on like orange or yellow or red or like blue this one's always been a really good one for me and then i've caught also a lot on this black color right here sometimes they really like black and I've caught a lot of fish on that one, and that one actually glows in the dark. Sometimes I'll go out there super late and sit through the night and catch all kinds of fish with this glow in the dark one, so that one's pretty cool, but I've been catching a lot of fish throughout the years with those frostbite jigs. Obviously, there's so many different jigs that you can use, and you can e either use soft plastics to put on the back of them, or you can put wax worms or whatever you guys like. But in my opinion, growing up, we caught so many big fish on wax worms with my dad, but my buddy was actually talking to me a couple of years ago, and he said that he really enjoys putting the soft plastics on there because they last way longer. So that's what I've been doing the last couple of years. And let me tell you guys, it saves a ton of money from getting wax worms. I guess they're not that expensive, but getting these soft plastics, it is just a game changer. You can use like one or two or three of these all day and catch so many big fish on them. And I really like the pink color soft plastics when I'm putting them on the back of these little jig heads. It seems like they usually work pretty good. I used a, a soft plastic called a mite last year, and that one worked really good. But I've got these ones. This one's called a Mackie, and I've caught a couple fish on that one right there. And then also on these little minnow ones. These ones always work really good when I'm heading out there for crappies, big bluegills, perch. I've even caught some pretty decent sized bass on those, but sometimes I also like to go with the bigger setup when I'm, when I'm chasing after some really big crappies. Sometimes they don't want that small stuff, and I'll throw these bigger jig heads. This one's actually the Guggen Baits jig head with the Guggen Baits little plastic, I think it's called. Oh, dangle dart and I've caught a lot of fish a lot of crappies with these right here they're incredible I've caught a lot of fish with that white one right there and that like bluish clear with black pepper flake soft plastic that one's a really good one and like I said in a couple other videos if you get any of the Guggen stuff you can get a discount using my code I got all the Guggen products and if you guys want a discount, 10% off, you can use my code EXTREME. 
and these plastics work really good. You can tell they work good. I got a whole box of them. There's so many different plastics in here for when I'm catching big crappies through the ice, but I really like to use this when I'm heading out there on the ice too, especially when I'm looking for depths. This is a fish finder, a depth finder, whatever you want to call it, a markram. And this is pretty much a must have when you're heading out there ice fishing. You can literally put this down in the hole and just watch your lure and you can see all the fish. This is a really good tool when you're trying to locate fish. Just drill a bunch of different holes and that's what I usually do. I'll drill like maybe five or six holes and just go start checking them to see where I can find a good drop off or where I can locate all those panfish. And once you locate them, you can really dial them in on this piece of technology. It's pretty cool, but you can dial them in and see your little tiny jig head. And it is a blast guys, but I really enjoy going out there and chasing after some big panfish. Drop a comment below where you guys are from and what your favorite panfish to target, whether it's crappies, bluegills, perch, whatever you guys like to catch and drop down in the comments, the biggest one that you have ever caught. I think my biggest crappie ever was around like 15 inches. It was a freaking Mondo, so that was super cool, but I just wanted to make this video pretty quick, just going over some of my favorite jigs, my, my favorite soft plastics. I've got a couple other ones in here that I'll show you that work super good. This one's like a little perch one. It always works really good when I'm heading out there for big bluegills, big crappies. I like that one. And then this one right here has caught me a lot of fish over the years. This one's sort of like a perch one too, but a different pattern with that yellow and black spots. I like that one. And then this purple one. I think my fiance Gabby caught a lot of fish last year on this one. And she was really catching a lot of fish, having a lot of fun. And that one right there is glow in the dark too. So the glow in the dark ones are always fun when you're heading out there super early in the morning. Or if you're going to be out there on like a really cloudy day, it's a dark day or right before the sun goes down or after the sun goes down. But typically I'm trying to stay with these baits right here. I just go with what I've caught fish on over the years, but I just wanted to quickly make that video for you guys. I've got a couple different rods set up. This one's a 26 inch and I can't remember what this one is, but it's a super bendy rod. And I've caught a, a ton of fish with this one. It's actually a line cutters rod. I've had this one for probably like five or six years. And this is a pretty good little ice fishing rod. But just wanted to quickly go over some of the lures that I use. I hope everyone is safe out there on the ice and has a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys catch your limit next time you go out pan fishing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and learned a little bit about what lures that I use, but really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one, guys.